Hi, Chef Ryan Phillips here. When you gather with family and friends for the holidays like Thanksgiving, is there anything that you make every year together as a family? Here in Korea for Chuseok or Korean Thanksgiving, there's no shortage of great foods. Everyone gathers around in the kitchen and makes all kinds of dishes, sometimes very colorful on a skewer like today's kochi jeon. Let's get started with our protein. We're gonna par cook our steak and bacon to get started because they take a little bit longer to cook. Just a little bit of salt and pepper for the steak. All right, so let's get this into a hot pan. Maybe just a couple of drops of cooking oil helps speed up the process here. The same thing goes for the bacon here. Not get it all the way crispy, just about half cooked. So I've got this part cooked, and now we just wanna let it rest for a bit before we slice it at all. We don't want those juices to run away and lose all that flavor. So let's set these aside to rest while prepping some other ingredients. Let's start with these king mushrooms right here. The only thing that we need to think about when prepping these is that we want to have about the same length that our steak is wide because these are all going to go on the skewers. Let's go to the eggplant here. And again, we just want to have them about that same length. We've got these beautiful red chilies this time of year in Korea. If you don't have these, you could just use red bell pepper. These are Korean leeks. You can use green onions, just cutting them the same length as other ingredients. Now we've got these yellow pickled radishes. This is a sweet pickle. It's yellow because of turmeric in there. If you don't have access to these, you could just use a sweet cucumber pickle. I know that might sound strange, but trust me, it works for this. All right, our protein has cooled down, so let's slice the bacon here. And our steak has rested enough. Let's go ahead and cut this into strips as well. Now this is the time when the family gathers around and starts working together because this can be labor intensive. But we're gonna skewer all these ingredients. And the order doesn't really matter too much. So just have fun with it. I do like getting a bit of the fatty bacon next to the vegetables though. Today we're using steak and eggplant and mushrooms, but it's real common. Folks will use ham, pork, whatever you like. There's really no rules. These are kochi jeon, and the kochi part is the stick, but for it to be jeon, we have to have flour and egg. All right, let's get two eggs and beat them with just a little bit of salt in there. Let's get our fire going here. About four or five tablespoons of oil. We need that to get hot, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna dredge these in the flour, then the egg. And then shallow fry them. Mm. 
This always reminds me of my neighbors at my commercial kitchen. Next door is a panchan kage or a Korean side dish store. And they always make so many of these for Chuseok every year. And I'll, I've gone over last year, I went and helped them skewer hundreds of these. And the tamujin or that yellow pickled radish seemed kind of strange to me at first. It's, it's weird to pan fry a pickle, but without it, you really miss out on this, this mouth-watering moisture that adds to this dish. So you just wanna get these cooking a shallow fry, maybe about three or four minutes on each side. All right, these are looking ready here. Nice little golden brown on the outside. Yo, Gochi John is ready. All right, the Chuseok moment has arrived. It is family time, holiday time. Take a look at this. Gorgeous. There's something magical about that pan fried pickled radish. It adds, it makes your mouth water. There's the vinegar, the turmeric. Really makes it come together. Makes this really fun. Get the family together, make these super easy. <laughs> 